Well, how do the chums? This is I, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewer world, I'm still on a hunt for a Diplo. But as I go, I'm stopping at Lush Planets and I'm doing reviews of the planets. And at the moment, you can see here, I've just landed on this planet. I haven't even looked around for the fauna, but as I was landing, I did see quite an interesting fauna. It's not a Diplo. But yes, it's an interesting fauna nonetheless, which you're going to see fairly soon, I'd imagine, because it's, it's just scuttering behind me at the moment, people. So yeah, stay tuned, and I will show you all the creatures on this planet. I'm just flying to another location upon this planet, and I'm going to take a land near to the sea. That way I can go in the sea and upon the land and get as many creatures as I can. And yeah, I'm going to do a reveal of what I've named said creatures. So we go, let's jump out of my ship and let's take a little look-see around. Look at the grass. It's like an orangey bubbly grass. And yep, there's um, hardly any sentinels around. They're spread thinly. Oh, look. There you go. That's the that's the creatures I saw as I flew in. These little beetly dudes. They're like giant stag beetles. And they've got gnarly sort of stripy wanks. Let's fly on into the ocean. There we go. Plop. And into the ocean we go. We've gone into quite a lot of these red oceans now, haven't we, chums? With the light-up corals. We've seen a few oceans that look... Fairly similar to this one, but I've got to sort of judge this ocean as if it was independent and not a duplicate of another that I've landed in recently. So here we go, I've scanned a fish, and yes, we've seen fish that look very similar to that too. So yeah, there's... Oh, hold on. What the fudge is that? There's a big gnarly creature in the ocean. Hello there. Brilliant. Oh my days. It looks like an alligator had a baby with an eel. Holy fudge moly Look at that thing. Isn't that a frickin' stuff of nightmares? Yes, you are. Nice. Yeah, you don't want to be caught in those jaws. Heck no. It's got two livers as well. Nice. You may have seen a couple of quick, quick snippets there of the other fauna that frequent the land upon this planet. So yes, I've nearly finished with scanning, so I will reveal the names of those creatures very soon. Now, what I really like about this planet is its actual day-to-night cycle because it goes through some various colour changes and at night it actually goes all bioluminescent. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? That looks freaking awesome. Talk about alien worlds. This has got that look. But what I would say is I'm noticing this far more now upon these sort of planets, or any planet really, is the actual shaders for the clouds. Look at it. Perfectly round cut out circles. It looks like someone's shining a torch through a colander. It does not look in keeping with the clouds that are above the actual planet's surface. It's just a scrolling nighttime cloud texture that's really freaking visible. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. It freaking does your head in. Look at that. It does look like a freaking light being shone through a colander upon this land. Yeah, a little bit disappointing. I hope they actually fix that. I'm hoping we get ambient light, the proper lighting, you know, proper ray tracing when it comes to lighting at some stage, chums, because I do like all these lens flares. I do like all the bloom effects. But to be honest, they seem to be sort of like little mini workarounds from giving us the true ray tracing. But there we are. That's what it is, chums. So here we go. Now we're actually on the actual creatures themselves. I named this one Crow Turtle, or Crow Turtle, Cow Turtle, I should say, by accident. Did this is Caltel. Hello there, Caltel. So that first one inherited its name by complete freaking accident. This guy is pretty cool. Look at that. Burns in the sun. So I called it Sun Screamer. Sun, Sun Screamer. Ah, the sun is in my eyes. Yes. And I've got this guy. He's called a gator eel because, yes, he does look like a cross between a gator and an eel. Awesome. And this guy I called Dazza. My friend Darren was over and I thought that looks a bit like him. And I named it him just to annoy him. He was on the other sofa. He wasn't impressed. This guy has got magnetic teeth. I called him Metal Bitter. It was supposed to be Metal Biter. But me and my so stupid head went and put a double T in. We've got this guy, Rock Biter. Done okay. This guy has got an extra hidden skull. I called him Catatal. And we've got this chap. Doesn't like being scanned. I called him scanner shy. <laughs> and here it is. This is why I'm going to be scoring the fauna quite highly. Because we've got this little winged beetle. And he's freaking ace. I called him stack. Righto. So this actual planet sits inside the NMSA. And I've called this NMSA Apollicio. Because that's a really cool name anyway. And yes, the actual planet I've called Lushroom Beetalus. Because it has... Well, it's a lush world with mushrooms and beetles. Yes, and it was actually called Apollicio beforehand. And I just stuck NMSA in the front. I like the name. So yeah, kept it. Fantastic. I really like this. 
And when I say like, I mean it's got so much going for it. It's got decent fauna. It's got decent flora. The oceans are above average because it's got that lovely gator eel that frequents its waters. And yes, it's, it's actually quite a nice planet. I mean, it's all well above average. So I'm going to be scoring this a lot of 80s, I think, across the board. There's nothing that sort of blows me away, but there's nothing that sort of depresses me massively. So yeah, the only thing that isn't great here is the actual resources. So the resources are the only low point of this planet. So you know what? Because it's scored such an average. I'm going to give it the other points of 75, meaning that this planet scores an average of 75 overall, and it's inside of the Euclid. If you want to come here and chuck down a base, feel free. Grab yourself a beetle. Heck yes. So there we go, people. That's the actual review of this lush room beetalus planet in the NMSA hub. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon. Cheery bye, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.